Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents, I'm back again with another cologne for you guys, heavy rotation. Alright guys, this cologne right here, it's called a Docker, Docker, y'all know Docker make clothes, shoes, uh, shirts, pants, jeans, whatever, uh, it's Docker, it's made by a Docker company, and uh, this one here, uh, I don't know. I couldn't find none of the notes on it, so I ain't gonna get into it with this one. But uh, this weird smell, I'll give you guys a ballpark. What it smell like? Be a ballpark figure. Uh, this one reminds me a lot of Sean. It's sweet, like it kind of reminds me of Sean John Unforgivable. Uh, if you guys are familiar with that smell, Sean John Unforgivable, it's got that vibe to it. Uh, with me. On my dry, ashy skin. <laughs> I get about, about four to, no, I say about, I say I get about six to eight hours with it. Uh, starting off, the projection of it is really good. Even though it's kind of like a sweet vibe to it, but the first, when you first, the first initial blast, it get a really great projection. It's kind of like, it's just a sweet, soapy type smell. And like I said, that's uh, one of the colognes that I know that smells similar to it. It's Sean John Unforgivable. Uh, like I tell you, you, got a lot of these colognes out here. Be smelling like some milk. Oh, you smelled it before. Oh, oh, that, that remind me of that. That smell like juke. Uh, Creed sometimes smell like juke. This smell like juke. Cool water smell like green iris tweed. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just <laughs> it's like just Creed Santel smelling like juice. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of colognes out here or something smelling like some milk. To me, I get a no one guy. Creed Aventus smell like Izzy Miyaki. Now I could be wrong, y'all comment below, but if y'all smell Creed Aventus, which I have it in the oils, to me. Izzy Miyaki, Izzy Miyaki smells similar to Cree Aventus. Both of them got kind of limity, orangey, limity type vibe, the leathery type vibe. Um, if you smell Izzy Miyaki, you should almost smell in Cree Aventus. Uh, I mean, in my nose, anyway. To me, they smell similar alike. You no, know, just keeping it real. Now, I'm going to show you guys the spray on this right here. Check it out. Pretty decent sprayer. Good sprayer. And this one here got kind of like a... I don't like smell my colognes right then. I like to wait till they dry down a little bit. Then I smell them. <laughs> Some people stick their nose right through a zoom and spray it like that. You can knock all and everything mix. Let that junk dry down a little bit first. You know? <laughs> so... I ain't sticking my nose right to that. Not dying, not dying. All right, now let's check it out. Now, the first spray kind of got a... Give you another sound. I smell a little bit like uh, Burberry London, too. It's got that vibe. It's kind of got like a whizzy tobacco vibe as well. Sweet. Man, you a London, Burberry London, too. It's got that type of vibe with it. Uh, it smells really good, though. Like I said, get about six to eight hours longevity. Projection is beast when you first initial blasts. Starting off that sweet, leathery, not leathery, but sweet, kind of tobacco sweet type scent. Smell a lot like Sean John Forgivable too. Smell like Burberry London a little bit. Just giving you guys an idea of what it smells like. Um, it smells really, really good though. Uh, I actually rock this a lot during this spring, a little bit during the summer, and I just put it in uh, heavy rotation. Like I said, I couldn't really find none of the notes. That's how I ain't really look hard enough, because like I said, Darker is a clothing company. They make shoes, they make pants, shirts, uh, whatever, jeans. I seen a pair of Darker shoes online the other day, so they make shoes. I think they make more shoes than they do anything yet. Shoes and jeans and coats and crap, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys heard of Docker and y'all familiar with it. 
I picked it up from God knows where, you know. <laughs> I picked it up and from somewhere. Um, ain't no telling where I got it from. I had it in a while. Smells really good. I picked it up. I sprayed it. I like the smell of it. And I just bought it right then and there on the spot. Like I said, I don't know how popular it really is. I don't know if you guys really heard of darker cologne or whatever the case might be. But I got it because I liked it the way it smelled. And I don't even remember or know where I got it from. You know, but I just know it smelled real good. All right. So anyway, not going to hold you guys too long. And this one, just look around for it. I think you might can still get this one. Look on Amazon. Look on eBay and places. Just kind of search around for it. See, can you find it? It's not very expensive. Should be able to get it for around $10 or $15, give or take. Not no more than $20 anyway. But I just kind of search around for it. $20, bucks, you should definitely be able to get it for $20. All right, so just kind of search around for it. This smells amazing, though. Sweet. Kind of tobacco-ish. Woodsy. Tell you another one to remind me of, guys. If you guys are familiar with Thallium Black, it reminds me of Thallium Black, too. If you smell Thallium Black, this smells similar to Thallium Black. That's another cologne that smells similar to it. Thallium Black. It smells almost identical. Yep. You can take it right now. Blast it. Smells similar to Thallium Black a lot. Yep, Thallium Black. Smell more like Thallium Black than do Sean John, I think. But you gotta check out Thallium Black. If you can't get this, buy Thallium Black because it smells similar. Kind of plummy, sweet, fruity. Got hints of leather, tobacco ish. It smells good. It smells like Thallium Black. Anyway, guys, till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>